Hi guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do another another pour painting. They're addicting. Anyway, especially on these little ones. Big ones I spend days on going back into, but these little ones are a blast. So definitely high, highly recommended for somebody who um, wants to paint, but um, maybe doesn't feel real confident in doing a painting. So this is this is mostly fun, <laughs> fun, fun. So, okay, here we go. Bring this down again. And I'm just wondering. Um, okay, this one I'm not going to put any pink in. Last time I had a lot of pink and reds. This time I'm really going to mix it up. So, um, I'm going to start off this one with some red. It has a little leftover, or whatever was left over in there. hoping I didn't mix these too thickly. This time I'm going to have a little brown. Oop, there was a clump that went in there. It's not so good, but oh well, here's what it is. This time I want to add a lot more blue to this. In fact, I might do it kind of all near at the same time. sitting for those few minutes. I think it got a little... Sometimes it, it doesn't take too long sometimes for this. You let it sit a little bit and gets a little clumpy. Plus I have a fan running in here. Alright, I'm going to do that again. Plus my white's a little thick. I don't know how it, it wasn't thick a few minutes ago. Well, maybe it was. I didn't realize it. Okay. So... I can let the cup sit there and just mix this brown up and this was just mixed with Mod Podge and uh, cheap Delta coat. We'll see how that one works this time. Not sure what this will turn out like. It's always exciting to see what it's gonna be like. It's like it's like opening a present. Huh. <laughs> the problem is I keep doing another one because I have paints left over and another and another. So I'm finally getting pretty low on some of them. Yay! This is for sure going to be the last picture. See all that that's going on. Right, I'm just going to put this one all together. The last of my red. Well, there's a little. Yeah, that's pretty well done. Okay, a little more brown. And here we go on the white. Okay. I could add a lot more white. I'll know if I wished I would have done it or not, but you never know on this. So, <laughs> never know. One good thing about making a video of what you're doing, if you want to repeat it, you can repeat it. <laughs> so, I always like the first part that comes out, always looks pretty good. Like I said, I don't normally worry about um, if it's centered or not at this point, but sometimes I might wish I would have done that, but it, normally I don't. But I can see it's kind of leaning this way. That's pretty.
Looks like this one could have used a little more white. Uh, but who knows, it may pop up at the end. What I'm going to do right now is dump some of my leftover paints. No, wait a minute. I think I'm just going to pour everything that's left in here right now and do the edges. So there's a lot more white. I'll start with the white. I don't think there's hardly any yellow left. <laughs> a couple drops. Hmm. A lot of browns left. Brown, white, and orange. My white's thicker this time. I don't know, normally when I do the paintings, I like the white a little thinner. Okay, guys. So this time, I'm going to see what it's like just to pour it out. Pour it on the edges. I think it might need a little stir. I want to leave it alone in the middle this time, kind of. There's still a little bit left. I might as well pour it on the edges, right? It's kind of doing its own thing right now. I like that. That's always a debate for me if I want to hit it with the torch or not. Ugh. Sometimes I think I make it worse. Maybe somebody knows why the white speckles keep coming out. the edges a little bit. Thing is, this is, these, there's been many of these I've overworked and I wish I could go back. So sometimes, sometimes it's good to stop before you think you are even done. And that I've learned the hard way so many times. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this up close. I've mixed so many different paints and so many different uh, kinds of paints. I have lots of leftover paints here. I've mixed a lot of this with Mod Podge. Um, um, the Flow Traw, even KY Jelly. <laughs> I went and bought it all at different times. So I think this is one of my favorite ones, even though I don't care for the white dots. I don't know. Hopefully they'll disappear in the end. All right, guys. All right. Thank you for watching. So I'm going to...